Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Deuteronomy chapter 3. This is the Amplified Version. Conquest recounted. Then we turned and went up the road toward Bashan. And at Edrei, Og, king of Bashan, with all his people came out to meet us in battle. And the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have handed him over to you, him and all his people, and, and his land. And you shall do to him just as you did to Sihon, king of the Amorites, who lived at Heshbon. So the Lord our God also handed over Og, king of Bashan, and all his people into our hand, and we struck him until no survivor was left. We captured all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we did not take from them. Sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All these cities were fortified and unassailable with their high walls, gates, and bars. In addition, there were a very great number of unwalled villages. We utterly destroyed them, just as we did to Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying every city. The men, women, and children, for we took all the cattle and the spoil of the cities as plunder for ourselves. So we took the land at that time from the hand of the two kings, Sihon and Og, of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. The Sidonians call Hermon Syrian, and the Amorites call it Sinar. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Selka and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the giants known as the Rephaim. Behold, his bed frame was a bed frame of iron. Is it not in Reba of the Ammonites? It was nine cubits, twelve feet long, and four cubits, six feet wide, using the cubit of a man, the forearm to the end of the middle finger. So he took possession of this land at that time. I gave the territory from Aurora, which is by the valley of the Arnon, along with half of the hill country of Gilead and its cities to the Rumanites and to the Gadites. The rest of Gilead and all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. That is all the region of Argob, concerning all Bashan. It is called the land of Rephaim. Jair the son, descendant of Manasseh, took all the region of Argob as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Magathites, that is Bashan, and called it after his own name. Hava, the villages of Jair, as it is called to this day. I gave Gilead to Machir of Manasseh, to the Reubenites and Gadites. I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a boundary, and as far as the Jabbok River, the boundary of the sons of Ammon, the Arba also, with the Jordan as its boundary, from Chinnereth, the Sea of Galilee, as far as the Sea of the Ar Araba, the Salt Sea, Dead Sea, at the foot of the slopes of Pisgah on the east. Then I commanded Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All you who are brave men shall cross over the Jordan, armed before your brothers, the sons of Israel. But your wives and your children and your cattle, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in your cities which I have given you, until the Lord gives rest to your fellow countrymen as he is to you. And they also possess the land which the Lord your God has given them beyond the Jordan. Then each of you may return to the land, possession which I have given to you. I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes have seen everything that the Lord your God has done to these two kings, Sihon and Og. 
So the Lord shall do the same to all the kingdoms into which you are about to cross. Do not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who is fighting for you. Then I pleaded with the Lord at that time for his favor, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth that can do such works and mighty acts, miracles as yours? I pray, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond the Jordan, that good hill country with Hermon and Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me because of you and your rebellion and Meribah and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, enough, speak to me no longer about this matter. Go up to the top of Mount Pisgah and raise your eyes toward the west and north and south and east and see it with your eyes. For you shall not cross this Jordan, but command Joshua and encourage and strengthen him. For he shall go across and lead this people and he will give them the land which you see as an inheritance. So we stayed in the valley opposite Beth Peor. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.